Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter, and about a week or so ago, I made a video on RTS Tactical Steel Body Armor. I shot it with about 60 rounds, nothing went through, it went pretty well, but in the comment section, there was a lot of people who voiced their opposition to steel body armor, and I totally understand that. There's gives and takes to both sides, but uh, one of the problems that has gotten people when it comes to ceramics or composites is typically going to be price. So RTS Tactical saw that video, they saw the comments, and decided to put together a bundle where you could get pretty much everything that you need including not level 3 or level 3 plus but level 4 plates these are ceramic level 4 plates and an entire kit for like 469 so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and unbox their premium kit here so you guys can see everything that comes inside and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it and I got a discount code for you as well so let's get started Now, RTS Tactical sent me out this bundle so I could show you guys a different option that includes level 4 plates that still doesn't break the bank. And these level 4 plates are incredible. They're ceramic plates. They contain all of the spall, so you don't have to worry about spalling with these. They're multi-hit rated, and the threat level is just absolutely ridiculous. I don't own any, you know, really big calibers, but from about 15 feet away with a 22-inch barrel, I shot these uh, with 6.5 Creedmoor, with 308, with 7.6239, 5.5 six uh six five grendel i mean I, I put a bunch of different calibers on one single plate and didn't have a single one even get close to passing through so this is really good high quality spall containing armor right here that i think would uh, be good for a lot of people and again for 469 that's a pretty good deal now before we open this thing up if you guys want even more of a discount check the timestamp on this video because it's only going to be for 48 hours but they gave me a discount code of tds30 and that'll get you an extra 30 dollars off so an extra 30 dollars off of that 469 puts you at 439 for plates and everything that's in here. Now, when you um, order it, you can kind of customize it a bit. Obviously, you can choose what size you want, right? So you can choose the different sizes. Uh, you could choose whether you want to add side plates or leave side plates off. Uh, there's different colors and stuff like that. So there's, man, they really did a good job of taping this. I might have to cut the video, but uh, they, they uh, really offer a lot of customization so that you get exactly the right bundle. If you order side plates, it's gonna obviously be extra money, but you get everything in the box here, plus two ceramic plates. Okay, so I got it open. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside here because obviously when you buy plates, that's not the end of your expense, right? If you find plates, you like them, you buy them, you still got to get a way to carry them. So you need to buy a plate carrier if you want to put magazines on there. You're going to have to get mag carriers. This kit basically seeks to get you in the door with just about everything that you need. So uh, let's go ahead and see what is on top. The first thing that we have on top here is going to be a premium uh, speed pouch. So this is their three mag pouch. As a matter of fact, I've done a review on this in the past. This is actually made by RTS Tactical. It's a three mag pouch. It's got the bungee cord design on it and it is going to uh, run through your molly webbing in order to attach. So it's a really nice three mag pouch. This is going to fit to the front of your plate carrier right there. And with this kit, you get you know immediate carrying of your magazine. So uh, that's pretty cool to see that. The next thing that we have in here, looks like we have uh, some gloves. These are actually RTS Tactical gloves. Now, the nice thing about that is in the past, the gloves that RTS Tactical had were actually Blackhawk gloves. Uh, these are now made by RTS Tactical. As a matter of fact, I believe that they're moving away from Blackhawk completely, which is what they used to use in their kits to make them more affordable. Uh, they didn't like some of the design elements. They thought they could be better. And so RTS Tactical now is designing their own stuff. And I got to tell you, a lot of the stuff that they make is, is really nice. So here we have some RTS Tactical gloves. As you can see, they are fingerless gloves. They're very nice. They have knuckle protection. Uh, the wrist area looks great. We're going to have to try these on a little bit. So they are knuckle protection gloves. And uh, I got to tell you, they're really nice. Got nice material on the back there, on the palm, suede everywhere else. Uh, pretty nice looking gloves. Now, the next couple things we have in the box before we get to the actual plate carrier itself, and I'll show you guys that. They're going to have a set of elbow pads. So we have our elbow pads. Get them in this uh, nice little bag here. Let's go ahead and take these out. These are actually RTS Tactical elbow pads. So they say RTS Tactical on the back right there. Very nice, soft, 
hard in front right there. Uh, these actually look like really nice elbow pads. So you do have elbow pads if you choose to wear those. And we also have a set of knee pads. So we have these knee pads. Let me see if I can open these up and show you these. They're probably gonna be very similar to the elbow pads. But yeah, these are these are definitely real nice. So this is a set of two knee pads, really soft. It's got that extra cushioning. And then we have these straps around the back. And I'll give you guys a closer look at everything here in just a moment. So we have that set to the side. Let's go ahead and take out the main piece here. Set this box to the side. This is going to be our plate carrier. So as you can see, it comes in this nice, you know, waterproof bag. So if you know, UPS or FedEx drops your box in water or something. At least you know it's protected there. We'll go ahead and we'll take this thing out. And here is our plate carrier. It's actually a really nice looking plate carrier. A little bit different, I think, than the one that I had before, but let's go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over this plate carrier a little bit here because this is obviously, at least in my opinion, the most important part in the entire kit other than the armor itself because this is what's gonna hold our armor and this is what's gonna hold everything else. So it looks like a really nice plate carrier. Uh, it has a ton of molly webbing. There is molly webbing pretty much everywhere on this, all the way around the back and on the sides, there are spots for side plates and it looks like these pouches for the side plates are actually removable. So if you decide not to run with side plates, you can always take these pouches out, make this thing a little bit more lightweight and make it maybe a little bit more breathable as well. So you can always uh, leave those in, put the side plates in, or you can take them out. Uh, we do have a Velcro spot on here. It's basically, I don't know if it's actual Velcro brand, but it's hook and loop on the top right here. So you can put your insignia, your morale patches or anything else up top, which is really nice. So we have hook and loop on the front. We also have a section of hook and loop in the back right there. We do have a drag handle in the back. So uh, pretty nice, looks like a nice strong drag handle. The stitching on everything seems pretty good. Looks like uh, excellent adjustability as well. Yep, looks like it's uh, you know pretty standard to what most people have ever owned a um, plate carrier in the past, what adjustability is like. So you're gonna let this thing in or out in order to adjust the height of the carrier itself and then just go ahead and lay that Velcro back down and that's gonna keep everything in place. It's got these loops so that these things are easy to pull. And then on the bottom right here, give these things a pull. And that is where you're going to adjust your cummerbund. So you can see right there that the cummerbund is adjustable. You can tighten it up by just simply bringing it over or loosen it up by allowing these two to come out. So it's completely adjustable there. And then let's take a look at where the armor goes. Now, this is one of those things that's kind of difficult to show on camera. Really, all this stuff is kind of difficult to show on camera, but we have hook and loop and buttons at the bottom right here. So you want to bring the hook and loop and the buttons over like this. And then you see we have this pouch and that is what is going to hold your armor. Uh, there is another set of hook and loop on the inside and that's going to adjust the height of your armor. I know this is, I'll try and roll in some B-roll so you guys get a better look at it. But there's another set of hook and loop inside that will help the body armor ride at the correct height. So instead of putting it in there and it kind of falls to the bottom where, you know, you might have two or three inches of empty space, the plate's way down here, but the carrier's way up here. This is what helps you avoid that. So you put your plate in, you push your plate all the way to the top. You take this insert right here, you bring that down, you lock it on the hook and loop on the inside. And then when you have the right height on it, that's when you bring the bottom down and you go ahead and you close up the bottom and your plates are going to stay in the correct position on this. So uh, it, it's definitely a very nice plate carrier. This is an RTS tactical plate carrier. Now, I just noticed something else about this carrier that I think is pretty cool as well. You can run it without the cummerbund. You can take the cummerbund off completely and run it without that. So if you live in a high humidity area where you tend to get really sweaty in the summer, it's just, it's hot, it's humid, and you don't want this big cummerbund around you, uh, you can take this off completely and just run it with the, uh, with the straps that are underneath. So let me go ahead and take the cummerbund off and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is our bungee retention cord for the cummerbund right here. And here are the two pieces of the cummerbund completely removed from the plate carrier itself. So once we have those taken off, 
what we have left is a much lighter weight plate carrier that has this strap on the side now that you can simply adjust in order to tighten it on you. So as you can see, it's much more lightweight, uh, much lighter profile. It's gonna allow a lot more breathability and a lot more air to circulate through the plate carrier itself. So this is another option that you can go with. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. It does have these uh, plastic buckles on the side, but they're pretty robust. They're pretty big plastic buckles right there. Go ahead and take those off, take the carrier off and it just makes for a, a much faster carrier as well. So pretty nice. I mean, all of this stuff together, the, the plate carrier, the elbow pads, the knee pads, the gloves that you get with it, which are really cool, and the plates, uh, to me, this is probably the, the best value for ceramics you're gonna find anywhere. Okay, so here's the gloves. These are the new RTS Tactical gloves. They're very nice, very comfortable. If you guys were wondering why there was two pairs of gloves in my kit, it's because they sent me one to actually wear and use and another one to abuse and try and beat up and see how long they last, etc. And then these will be the ones uh, that I can hang on to for future videos and stuff like that. So we have one to abuse and we have some to use right here. Now, I gotta be honest, uh, they feel really good. They are half finger gloves, as you can see right here. Uh, it's got a nice, strong material on the base, on the hand. Hand. And then on the top where your knuckles are right here, it gives you the top part of your finger protection. And then it also gives you knuckle protection as well. So they are very nice gloves. They're very adjustable and they, uh, they fit your hand really well. This is for those people that are looking and can kind of get an idea here. Uh, these are a large pair of gloves. I would probably recommend that for, you know, most adults. I kind of have skinny hands, but long fingers and these things work perfect. So uh, the large definitely fits me good, but you wanna, you know, make sure you understand what size glove you wear before you order it because you gotta pick the size of glove uh, that's gonna come in your kit. These large seem to work pretty well for me. If you have big hands, you might wanna think about getting the, uh, the extra large because they're, they're fitted gloves. Gloves. They're not like these big loose gloves that has material going all over the place, but they're nice. You know, they have the Velcro strap on the back right there. So we have the hook and loop that's going to keep it uh, tight on your palm. And then we also have the wrist strap right there that's going to keep these things from sliding forward and it's going to keep them on really nice and tight. So excellent gloves. And I got to be honest, an excellent kit. Um, you know, again, I know that there's people out there who are 100% against. I mean, we're not even talking, you know, they just don't like steel body armor. They are 100% against steel body armor. So here's a kit, everything that you saw in this video for 469. And again, if you're watching this, don't forget the next 48 hours from when this video is posted, it's going to be, um, you know, $30 off with TDS 30 if you use the code. So again, uh, 439 to 469 bucks for two ceramic level four plates and all the gear that you're gonna need to get started. That's a, a pretty cool kit and worth, uh, worth checking out. I wanna thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And to all those people who got angry because I tested steel body armor, hey, I'm gonna test everything that comes my way just to make sure that it works. Thank you all again for watching. Have a great day.